Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Grammar and Clarity Tip. This week we're looking at run-on sentences. So what is a run-on sentence? It's an error which not just English teachers, but all teachers spot quite often and it's very easy to make. A run-on sentence is a sentence which could be two or more sentences, but it doesn't have the correct punctuation or connectives. It's not been crafted on purpose to be a long sentence. So, for example, this sentence here has been crafted on purpose to be a long sentence. You can see it has words like because and it's got brackets. I needed it to be long. I decided it would be long. A run-on sentence is just two or three sentences just without any full stops. The writer's just forgotten to separate them out. Here's an example. It is June. It is so hot. Let's get an ice cream. Yeah, it's all of your ideas. And it sounds really disorganized like you're rushing, like you're breathless. It doesn't sound like you are in control. So unless you are doing a very experimental piece of creative writing and a very experimental piece where you want someone to sound out of control, you don't want to write like this. It just sounds like someone's just going Bleh, and putting everything they think out there without organizing their thoughts. So how do you correct run-on sentences? Here's the incorrect sentence. It is June. It is so hot. Let's get an ice cream. What you don't do is just add commas. A lot of people do this, and this is what we see, and they think they're not running a run-on sentence. It is June. It is so hot. Let's get an ice cream. These are not a range of punctuation. These are not a range of connectives. They're just commas. Yes, you can use commas when you're writing a list. Yes, you can use commas occasionally when you're separating points in a longer sentence, but you can't just join loads of sentences together with commas. That's not right. Here's the simplest solution. Make your sentences shorter. It is June. It is so hot. Let's get an ice cream. That's correct, but it's a bit boring. So the next step, if you're confident doing that, is to add connectives such as therefore. Some people call them discourse markers. It is June, therefore it is so hot. Full stop. So I've decided just to join those two together with a causal connective. And then for my last sentence, so it's not boring like this, well, getting an ice cream is a nice fun thing, so I'm putting an exclamation mark. So what I've done there is I've varied my punctuation, not loads, just with one exclamation mark, and I've added a connective, therefore, and immediately it reads so much better. It is June, therefore it is so hot. Let's get an ice cream. It sounds like you know what you're talking about, whereas here it just sounds like, it is June, it's so hot, let's get an ice cream. It sounds very childish and disorganized. So, using connectives and shortening your sentences, those are the two ways to avoid a run-on sentence. Thank you very much. Tune in next week for more grammar and clarity tips.